hopefully, this is everything we need for plumbing. I got some pecs. We're not making that far of a run, so I only, I think these are 10 foot sections of pecs. One red, one blue, because uh, we are gonna have hot water in this guy. We have a ton of fittings because we have the sink, we have the water heater, we have our shower. Now, pecs here is definitely not cheap. In these plumbing fittings alone, there's probably like close to $200. Now, I think if you were to do this out of copper, it might be cheaper, but I don't really wanna run any hard lines in a moving vehicle, I guess. PEX is very flexible and works well. And I'll show you actually, I rented a PEX tool. I think it was about $70 to buy it or it was about 16 bucks to rent. And because I'm not a plumber and I'm only doing this one time, I also realized today that the truck is the same color as Home Depot, so I fit right in. Here's our PEX tool. I'm loving these gas cans, they look so sweet. I'm just loving this van. I'm so happy with it coming together finally. It's taken a long time. All right, this is it. <laughs> this big old case for this little tool. I have these crush style rings, which I've used in the past, and I've actually just used like some cutters. In the past, I've used cutters like this, except the type where they're up here and they close like that. This time, the cutters are like $30, or I could just rent this for 16 bucks. And what's cool about this is it's like a ratcheting mechanism, and whenever you get to, uh, like it has a torque, and once you get to a torque, that light comes on. That way I'll torque these down to the exact torque they need to be. So, with that being said, I only have this tool for 24 hours, so let's bust this plumbing out. All right, I moved everything in here to there. There's our shower, our water heater. This is our propane tank behind this guy. I'm gonna run the propane later. Then our water tank, and I wish I would've ordered this water tank with no fittings, but I thought this water tank's fittings were uh, flip sideways. So <laughs> this water tank is taller than it is wider. And I thought the fittings were kind of like turned, but they're not. So we're having to cap off that one, that one, and that one, and then add two up top. This is our exit. So I'm gonna go from here to a T. I forgot to get the T. Oh, well, I'll make it work. The sink will be up here. So this is liquid Teflon on here. That's what that uh, white stuff's on there. And this is actually, I'm kind of putting on backwards. It's supposed to be for like a faucet. So you would screw this to the wall and put like a faucet out and then you can continue it. This is basically a female threaded T on one side and then two male PEX fittings on the other. And as a kind of a rule of thumb, what I like to do is I always do like brass on brass fittings and plastic on plastic fittings. So. I've been working this afternoon and Lance decided to randomly just do the plumbing and it seems to be going swell. I know nothing about it, honestly, as of now. So I'll have him explain it to me and explain it to you guys in case you're kind of lost where he's at. But this is really exciting. First of all, it wasn't random. <laughs> I started doing the plumbing because I was gonna skin the top of the bed. And then I thought if I need to get down into the bed area for any plumbing, It'd be easier to do it now rather than later. That way you're not trembling over it like you're trembling in the cabinet right now. Exactly. Here's where all of our water's gonna come out. I have a valve here. So let's say we have a leak anywhere on the system besides here, I suppose. You can just shut it off and nice. no, no water in the whole system. So from there, it goes to our water pump. Well, it goes to a little strainer first in case there's any like plastics or like, I guess, mold that grows in there. It'll go to the strainer through our pump, up to our accumulator. I ran it this way just to save space. And then what I'm gonna do is tee off here and we'll probably have a hose come back this way to our sink and to our water filters. That'll be somewhere back here. And then from our water filters, it'll go up to a tap here. You have to buy really expensive water filters to process enough water to actually like filter your sink water and your shower water and With this. With enough pressure. And they're big, yeah. yeah. So that's why we don't, we're not running all of our water filters. Well, should we do a plumbing montage? 
Let's do it. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Did you fart too? Yeah, but I laughed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, while Lance finishes up the plumbing, I am on paint duty. We're gonna paint the awning today so it can get back up on the van. So when we need to book it out of here because it's cold as shit, uh, we can and everything will be on it. So I've decided to spare you all um, the prep of painting the awning and painting the awning because I think you all know by this time you sand, you wipe, you tape, you paint. It's the same thing over and over again. And I really don't enjoy doing it, but I do enjoy the aftermath. Oh my God, there's a piece of hair on it. But here's how it's looking. Getting blacked out, baby. We are enjoying some sunshine, lollipops and rainbows everywhere in the dog's mouth. Now Lance, on the other hand, is getting the plumbing pretty close to done. He has the filters in. He just uh, added the fill port. He had to make this support. So we've had wood back here, but this middle plate he had to add in. So. Now that that's in, he screwed up the filters. Did you write the in and out or did the company write it? I that? did. Okay. Uh, there's a bucket in the sink, which means that we have water flow people. One leak is to be I expected. think I just cross-threaded this thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Have you tested the cup? Oh, no, I haven't, but I have a feeling it's going to spray in the air. so much more fresher than I thought it would have. Hell yeah. What are we doing, babe? That's an apple pain water heater. So here's where our uh, custom, or not custom, we got this from Sourcing's Warehouse, but it's like a unique size propane tank. That's where it sits. Um, and then our water here is just right on the other side of this, and that's what Lance has been hooking up. So we're gonna test that and see if we get some hot water. So that's a control panel for the hot water heater. Yes. Oh, you can hear it? Mm hmm So it's freezing cold right now. I, the water's at like 50, like something degrees. Hot? Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. And then what's cool is we kick it off like that. Oh, and it's hot up it's still. It just kind of builds that heat Rinse, 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 off. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Yeah. That's super cool. You can hear it just kicking on that fan on and off. That's not bad at all. Dang, this thing puts out I some know, air. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> we did it! Sleep little baby, don't you cry. It's not feeling very good. Got a cold. I have so strong. Hello. I have pretty much all the cabinets almost done. These smaller ones are done just drying up and I'm about to try to flip these and paint the inside of our big ones. Um, and then I guess help Lance seal up the countertops. These are gonna be the back sides first. Um, this one was just sealed up, it needs to dry. But you can see the difference. What that's gonna look like versus how those look like. <laughs> that we probably spared you the rest of the plumbing cracks and plumbing everything and we also got all the electrical in so I'm gonna have Lance kind of run you through everything that he did come hither come in come check on my crib so all the wires go down to our electrical box down here 
and we underneath have the bed. underneath the bed our electricals all under there all on that one side and if you kind of noticed all electrical there all water here and that's for a reason so if we have any spills with water it doesn't interfere the electrical and if you're curious on our electrical it's our solar setup and I will link that right here and you can check out what it is we have a bunch of wires running out throughout the van we couldn't get rid of this stuff up here because of structure for the actual van, which made a perfect guide to run all of our wires. So as you can see, all of our wires, Allie's tucked into these looms here. Because they are sitting on metal, we would not want them to chafe and cut through the wires. And in the case they do that, everything is on its own separate fuse. So that way it'll break the fuse before it lights something on fire. All of our wires go to a component or come from power. All of our power wires run this way into this gray loom here. So we have a ton of wires down in here that all go to this switchboard here. So basically now you can hit the switches and then cute little lights come on. These ones aren't wired yet. These are our exterior lights here. So we have our left side outside light, our back, and then our right side outside light. We have another little le electrical section here. So these are our house lights. So they're off on, what's this one gonna be? That's the uh, awning light. Oh, okay. So we do have a light for outside under the awning. And that's that one. And then we only put one switch here because these switches can't be three-way switches, unfortunately. And this is what they call a legless awning. So as you can see, there's no poles that come off of this. It's just that awning. And yes, it's on our fiberglass roof, but if you remember back to other episodes, I actually reinforced underneath it with metal. So from that corner, so that rear pillar and this pillar, there's a piece of metal that goes up and it ties all the way across. So that way our awning has support and doesn't rip our roof off. Oh, the sun just really yeah, sun came, came into. Well, we gotta get back to it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.